I'm Andrew Smith from the Open University ASC and ITC. In this short video I'm going to show you how to create a self-enrolled course. In this example I'm working from my Institute of Coding Academy and I'm going to create a Cybersecurity Essential self-enrolled course. The process is straightforward, it's like creating any other course, it's almost like creating any other course. You can call this whatever you like, so I'm just going to call this Test Cyber Self-Enroll. It can be a course that is a minimum of 28 days or a maximum of 365. You can have as many instructors as you like. But the important thing to understand is that the description here will also appear on the self-enroll page. So I'm going to write, this will appear as if just by magic. Okay, you can edit this later on. You've got full control over editing of any course. So it's not as if it's set in stone. If you need to edit the description, you can click on edit details here. We'll just wait for it. There you go, you can see it there. So you can easily go back at any time and change that piece of information. To create the self-enroll page, click on add students, wait, and here, because this is a non-core curriculum course, i.e. it's not a certification course, you will see the Create Self-Enroll page link. Click on that and wait. And then you can edit this in any way you like. The default is English because I am an English academy. You can set this as anything else for any other language in any part of the world. And you can see here already that that description has appeared within this um, section of the information and all the other information like the instructors, the start and end dates. And then you can add a simple description but the nice thing is, this is a WYSIWYG editor, and you can, if you wish, add your own HTML source, linking to all sorts of other embedded content, if you so wish. So you can do a simple description, make it bold, you can add yeah, different fonts if you want, you, know, you can add a lot of information in there. And you can also add an image such as your organization's logo. So, for example, now I am going to go and quickly search. Bear with me. I'm sorry, I'm typing the wrong thing there. Go with me, and I'm just going to go straight into my Cisco logos file. And here it is. Sorry, this is the slow bit. And because I'm doing it with the Institute of Coding, then I'm just going to easily put the official logo in. And then I'm going to make it public. As simple as that. Sorry about that slow bit. But now what has happened is it's created a URL here that if I open in a new tab, you will see immediately that this is a self-enroll page. So you see that information, the original description, you see our simple description, you see our logo. You can put as much information in here as you like. This has been pre-filled because I'm already logged in, but a student who has never created an account or isn't logged in can easily go in and enroll on a course. If you've never used Netacab before, Cisco, the Canvas platform, will generate a login for you. If you've already got a login associated with an email, then you will enroll and it will appear in that um, profile and that course will become available. So now if I actually just cancel and go back to the main page, you'll also see now that the self-enroll page is public here. If you need to edit it at any time, just go back to Add Students, Create Self-Enroll Page, and you, now you can edit this page in any way you like. Okay, You've got full control of it, so you can save and update that now. And if I just go here and refresh, you can see it's been edited. So if you've got a rolling outreach program or you're letting all of your induction students join in or you're working on a outreach project or whatever it is that you want to do with this curriculum you've got the ability to adapt and tweak manage and maintain the content hopefully you found this useful hopefully you'll be able to create more self-enrolled based non-core curriculum courses at your cisco academy